Well, that's right. Chula Vista leaders emphasize they want to work with their local businesses to help them succeed as much as possible during the pandemic. But faced with record numbers of new COVID cases here, they're also ramping up enforcement of the county's public health orders. Now that we are eight months in, uh, everyone is well aware of the restrictions, the new rules and the guidelines. Uh, so we feel it's appropriate uh, to move a little bit more swiftly through this um, to to really catch the, the egregious offenders. And to accomplish this, the city of Chula Vista is replacing its education first approach when it comes to businesses following the COVID public health orders and instead moving more aggressively in enforcement. Marlon King is Chula Vista's emergency services coordinator. Chula Vista and the South Bay communities have the highest rates of, of, of COVID-19 transmission. So we want to do everything that we can within our communities to slow the spread uh, and bring this case rate down. Under this more proactive approach, inspectors observing any violations of the public health orders will issue the offending business on the first visit, a warning letter and a notice of violation with a cease and desist letter to follow in a couple days from the county giving that business 10 days to come into compliance. If changes haven't been made by that time, the business will be ordered to close immediately. And if it has complied... It doesn't mean that, that we're done from there. Uh, we can, we're going to continue to uh, be proactive and monitor these businesses. And uh, if a new case needs to be opened, we will do so. We will do so. I feel that the businesses are are very supportive. Luann Halsizer is executive director of the Third Avenue Village Association, a business improvement district in Chula Vista with over 500 members. It's time that we all just really adhere to the guidelines. With the uptick that we're having right now, um, it just needs to be driven home a little more seriously. Working together is the only way that we're going to be able to move forward into the red tier, orange tier, and eventually yellow tier. And Chula Vista also receives numerous complaints about house parties and large gatherings at individual residences. Authorities here say they are working to investigate those complaints as well.